How's it going everyone? So I have some news. Um, sorry first of all for the lack of videos. It's been a couple of weeks but um, I have good reason. I've been busy. I have bought a new camera which I'm currently using. Hopefully it's um, doing a nice job and the audio is better than usual. Now, I can't show you because I'm using it. It's a Fujifilm X-T4. Anyway, um, I've also got a new drone but one big thing that I've bought, I'll show you. We're about to test it out. This will be its maiden voyage. Let's go have a look. Okay, and here it is. This here is a Hobie Tandem Island. Um, it is going to be epic. I, um, I plan to use it to, first of all, fish off of. But don't worry, that's not the end of my land-based fishing. This is going to be a tool to help me to get places. Um, I can sail it, it's got a sail. I can also just paddle it or pedal it. Um, lots of options, lots of places that I can now explore, so I can't wait to try it out. And also a big thank you to Rob and all the guys at um, Getaway Outdoors Belcata for helping me to get this thing sorted. Um, they've been really helpful, so thank you. And uh, if you're ever up that way and need some fishing gear or a Hobie or whatever, uh, definitely check them out. Anyway, we're going to chuck this thing in the water and um, see how it goes. It's also got, I'll show you. So it's got a sounder. I don't know if you guys can see the screen. Well, it's a GPS and fish finder. I've never really used a fish finder, so that'll be a learning curve. Got a um, new cooler, thanks to Yeti, and um, these big outriggers. That will mean that I can sail it. I'm talking crap now, let's go. So for whatever reason, I can't get my um, sonar to work. It just says stops. So I won't be using my sounder, but I can use my chart for GPS. I'm just gonna choke this guy on. I'm gonna get a better one of these, but this will do for now. Let's um, hook that onto that. See if we can figure this thing out. So, That's all right, it says I'm doing 4.2 knots. Five knots. Uh, that's pretty cool. I forgot to even drop my downrigger. So we'll get that down. I mean, oh, whatever you call it, it's not downrigger, but I don't know. I need to learn these sailing terms so I don't sound like an idiot. It's gonna. 
I don't even need full sail at the moment. Goes very nicely like that. So unfortunately that um, didn't all go to plan. It kind of went to plan like the boat sails great, flies along. I had these hulls like right underwater, the other one right up and I f you feel like you could capsize if you're not careful but apparently they're very hard to capsize. And I know what to do if I do capsize it. Um, but the GoPros went flat like really quickly, which was annoying. This guy here and the other one. And um, I sent the drone out, right? And I told it to track me and I haven't tried it yet. I watched a video on how to do it. Um, started sailing and I was like, I couldn't see it. Eventually, after a few minutes, I'm like, where is it? Pull it out, it's getting choppy, windy. Couldn't get, couldn't see the drone. Eventually managed to get the fly to me, which was a bit of a stuff around because it was stuck on active track mode and I haven't really played with it much. I should have, I should have practiced it all um, in an easier environment rather than sitting on this thing in the ocean. Um, I brought the drone back to me eventually, but it would not come all the way. It was like at its end of its limit. It said, will not go any further. I don't know why, it's really weird. And then it starts beeping saying it's going low on battery because I've been stuffing around for ages. Eventually I managed to paddle to the drone and after multiple attempts and the wind's blowing me around, I think eventually I just grab that drone and snatch it and chops the crap out of my finger. Um, I'm glad I got my drone back and my finger will be alright. So yeah, have a look at the carnage. I will warn you there's a bit of blood here, okay? This is the bag that I had my drone and everything in. It's just been thrown in there because um, there's blood splattered on the outside. Actually, that's fresh blood because it already got washed out. But how's that? What's that? There's a mess in there. Anyway, we need to pull it all out. And. Um, See how it is. Carnage. It's my brand new drone. I've only flown it once before now. And I just threw it in here, rolled it up, threw it in, there's blood on that. I'll give it all a good wipe down. Blood. 
splatter all on that. Yeah, it's still, it's still on. There we go. Anyway, so that's my maiden voyage done, and um, unfortunately, I didn't bother to put a line in and catch any squid after I chopped my finger. It's just I've just taped it up now. I just thought I'm just going to sail back in. I did manage to get all the way out there with the wind sort of it's blowing straight offshore and now tacked back in which was cool. Um, just figuring it all out and I've got some uh, trampolines coming for each side of this which will probably allow me to put some gear out on them which will help um, get things a bit more organized. Got to figure out why the transducer wasn't working and what else do I need to do? I wouldn't mind a, um, oh, a pole to steer with so that I can sit out on the um, sit out on the tramp while it's sailing along. That would be really handy. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching everyone and uh, we'll see you on the next mission which hopefully will be me taking this thing out and using it properly to access some spots and do some real fishing. Um, that's what I have planned unless I squeeze something in before then but I do have a big trip planned that involves this and a lot of fishing and camping um, that, that's what's coming up uh, cheers for watching anyway we'll see you then